Um, what do you think are the main challenges and dysfunction of the United States economy today, Jeff? I, I think without question that our original sin is slavery uh, and racism, and it is our continuing battle in this country. So yesterday's uh, verdict was a, a big step forward as uh, President Biden accurately said. I think uh, the American uh, sin of white supremacy has done so much damage to this country, not only to African Americans first and foremost, but to our failure to create uh, a solidaristic society more generally and a more social democratic society, which I take to be the best practical way to reflect these moral ideas in actual uh, political economy of the 20, 21st century. So my, my favorite economies are the Nordic countries. Uh, they're not perfect by any means, but I would say Iceland, Denmark, Norway, Sweden, and Finland are the best managed polities in the world. Uh, it raises a lot of questions about, you know, what can be directly translated and so forth, but I'm not going there right now. I'm just saying that those societies are the most eudaimonic, in my view, in the world. Uh, and they, I believe they do teach us uh, a lot of uh, important things. Well, we don't look like those societies. And in practical terms, for example, we tax about 15% uh, of GDP less than those societies. That's about $3 trillion a year that we leave in private hands rather than using for tuition, safe environment, uh, decent lives, ending hunger, universal health coverage, and so on. So I think that our failures <clears throat> show up in our fiscal system, the limited, extremely limited state and I interpret the limited state as mainly being a reflection of uh, the underlying racism of American society, because that broke class solidarity, which was crucial for progressive politics. But it also has been really the fuel of this state's rights idea for 200 years. Uh, state's rights means we don't want a federal government mucking around with our white supremacy. And this is uh, what this has meant uh, basically from the start of slavery and then the reconstruction, post reconstruction period, the Jim Crow era, and then the Southern strategy of Nixon and the anti federal government direction that Reagan started 40 years ago. So I think we broke social solidarity in this country because. <laughs> People don't believe in it in our country. Uh, and uh, they have uh, gone back to John Locke to say, we need uh, the minimal state, uh, property is sacrosanct. I think libertarianism feeds on the, the racism actually. Uh, so I don't think that it's merely an independent idea. It's a terrible one in my view, but it's not an independent one. and. I hope that our greatest strength in America by far is our diversity. Uh, that's what makes us such a wonderful country on the positive side and why New York City is still, I think probably just about the most amazing place in the world because we have 200 nationalities, ethnicities, several hundred languages spoken here. It, it, that's the joy but it's also been the obstacle. Uh, and I think that if we can learn to truly champion the diversity, because it's wonderful, uh, best restaurants, best food, uh, best interesting neighbors, uh, best city environment, if we could truly learn to champion this, we really could be special. Uh, in the US because that's America's specialty. But that's not what Lindsey Graham 
uh, and uh, Abbott uh, and uh, so many of these jerks, in my view, uh, and Trump, of course, who was a psychopath, uh, what they're after is not the diversity.